All right. What's up, everybody? WrestleMania 43. We made it. WrestleMania. Forever. We finally made it. We're two days away. We're, this is Thursday now. We're filming this. So, yeah, we're excited. What's up, Augustino, Preacher Man? I'm holding up two fingers, but it looks like I'm holding up one. All right. Yeah, I can see it. No, well, he's not, is that going to be number one after that Sunday, yeah. buddy? No, it ain't going to be no number one after this. Oh, I can't wait till I'm holding up the L. <laughs> All right, so let's start shy. off with night one. Um, the matches have been announced for what night. So start off with Ripley versus Becky Lynch. Um, I'm going to go with Becky Lynch to win the title. I know, I know some of you may pick Ripley, but – I think Becky's gonna win. I think they've been making her like the underdog story. Like they, they do it a lot with um the baby faces. It seems like, you know, she, they got personal mentioned the daughter and all that stuff. You know, I think they're gonna go through adversity. You know, Becky Lynch is gonna beat her, which if Ripley wins, I won't be mad because like, I like her. But yeah, this is gonna be a good match. I think Becky's gonna win. But yeah. All right. I guess I'll go second. Uh, give me Rhea Ripley. I think it's you know this is a patch patch the torch moment. I think um, she's going to retain. This is actually her first, like, real challenge of her title reign. Like, all her other matches have been really uncompetitive. But I think this is going to be, like, an actual chance that she could lose. But I got Rhea Ripley winning. I think she'll hit a Riptide. I think um has to be some kind of a counter into a Riptide, and then she wins. I think, I don't know, I think this will be, like, a 25-minute match. Not that long, but, like, a good, good solid match from physicality. And I think um, Becky Lynch shakes the hand of Rhea Ripley at the end of the match. So give me Rhea Ripley. All right, all right. So who to go? Who goes next? Lyric. Um, this is tough, but I'm gonna actually go with Rhea Ripley on this because I like Becky Lynch. I really do because it's really hard. I wouldn't be surprised if Becky actually does win, but then again, I don't like if Rhea Ripley does win. Who's left? For um, for typically on the raw side, unless they try something else, but I think mommy's gonna win this, unfortunately. But I wouldn't be shocked if Becky Lynch wins this. All right. Well, <laughs> I I agree with the uh, I agree with Colby. I think Becky Lynch is gonna win. Really? Uh, yeah, really? I do. Why? I think I think you know if either of them win, we're we're all, we're all gonna be happy. We're all, we 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 win at the end of the day. Yeah, <laughs> because they're both really great. It's just that I just think that the way they're making Becky Lynch right now is like she's very dominant, you know, and she's been winning all her matches lately. And I think that you know she's gonna surprise people. But you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Rhea Ripley won because she's great as well. I really like her as well. So I think Becky Lynch, the man, is gonna win. Ah, the man versus mommy. Who would have thought? Yeah, it? yeah it should be good. Um, I, I thought I'm surprised you picked um Lynch at Mirror. I'm like, damn. That's who I thought this whole time. All right, yeah. so we so we got split. We got split so far. Yeah. You know? yeah. All right. Next up is Gunter versus Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental Championship. I'm gonna go with Gunter retain. I <laughs> it, it should be good. Um, obviously I was angry a few weeks ago, but I'm kind of over it now. But um, but yeah, it should be good. Um. Should probably Jack Gable be in the corner being his coach. <laughs> coach Gable over here. But, yeah, I'm going to go Gunter to win. I, I mean, he could lose this because, you know, on Monday he stood over Sami Zayn and, like, was, like, you know, he's been, like, distracting Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn's been the underdog in the story. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to go Gunter to retain. But I won't be surprised if they give it to Sami eventually in this match because then Gunter can, like, move on to, like, the world title pitcher maybe. But, Cause yeah, I, I think Gunther's gonna retain though, but we'll see. All right, yeah, give me Gunther. I think he's gonna retain the belt. I think Chad Gable is gonna be involved. I think he's gonna cost Sami Zayn. Um, I think Gunther, if he's in the co like the corner of Sami Zayn and then the Imperium's the corner, I think Gunther's gonna get underneath Chad's skin. And it's gonna cost him. He's gonna accidentally hit Sami Zayn, uh, and then. Gunter wins, and then same same pushes, um, Chad, and like they start fighting, and I think they'll set up a feud for next, next pay per view. But yeah, I got Gunter winning. Uh, that's really all I gotta say. That's just my theory. Oh, my a game theory. Yeah, go ahead, Preacher Man. I got Gunter winning this, unfortunately, but 
I mean, Sammy could win, but I honestly think that Gunther's probably going to win this. I mean, for, I don't know. There's one more else to say. In my opinion, he's the top heel, like, like um, wrestling heel, if you know what I mean. Not fucking that part-timer, but um, yeah, that's really it. So give me Gunther in this one. I think even with Chad Gable's guidance, something's going to happen and it's going to eventually lead the two to like a fight for the next like pay-per-view or the next couple months or so. Yeah, I think Gunther's going to win as well, but I wouldn't be surprised if they set it up for Sami Zayn. I honestly wouldn't be. Uh, the way that they're making it seem like this, like Gunther's unbeatable and like he's the underdog. But I think Gunther's going to win because of Chad Gable. I think Chad Gable's not going to let Sami Zayn win. Uh, because I think Chad Gable wants to be the one that beats uh, Gunther whenever he gets he whenever or if he ever gets that chance again. Uh, so yeah, I think Gunther is gonna win. But I wouldn't be surprised if Sami Zayn. All right. So next up is the six pack challenge for the six pack ta tag team ladder match. Um, this is gonna be interesting. I feel like because. I heard they're gonna be splitting the belts up. They're gonna be splitting the belts. Who, who to said be that? Who gave the idea? Who oh said that? I don't Where care. Wet blanket, blanket time. This is wet blanket time. My blanket's <laughs> gonna be moist as shit. Who said that? Okay, moving on. <laughs> I think everyone's been demanding to split them up. You know, um, for oh, a while. Everyone, so. everyone has. Everyone's been saying split it up. Entire universe. But yeah, I, I'm gonna go with Austin Truth, I guess, to win the tag team titles. What I think they'll probably win the Raw ones if they got the Raw ones, and then maybe a SmackDown team. Maybe I'd say, but what if Theory and Waller win the SmackDown ones? Like, oh my god, I don't know. I, I think Judgment Day is losing the belts regardless. I mean, they could keep the Raw ones, but I think Austin Truth will win the Raw ones if they do the split. But yeah, I'm gonna go with Austin Truth to win, and I guess if if it happens with the SmackDown belts, I'll go with. Theory and Waller, I guess, the window smacked on ones. Yeah, I'm gonna copy Colby, and I I, I don't want Tyler Bate and fucking Butch to win it. So I want Theory and Waller. If Theory and Waller break up, then Tyler Bate and Butch are gonna. But right now, I got Theory and Waller, and I got Austin Truth. I think they're gonna split the belts. I think both of them are gonna be fighting on the top of the ladder. They're gonna be punching, and they're both gonna grab belts, the opposite belts, and then they're gonna fall off, and then ding, ding, ding. And they emphasize that oh, both belts have to be like taken down. So like they, they're hinting to it. So I got Theory and Waller and uh, Awesome Truth winning as well. Oh, uh, you know, they, it might not necessarily be like a SmackDown like um, um, tag team that can grab the Smack. It could be a Raw. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I got Awesome. I got Awesome Truth obviously, but. For the second one, I'm actually, I actually have a dark horse, and honestly, I think DIY can have a chance to get the second one. But um, <laughs> no, no, fuck off Twitter. Um, I got, I obviously got awesome, awesome true. That's, I think that I think that's already given. But just feel like for the DIY, since they're Triple H guys, they may have a chance. I, I wouldn't be shocked if Theory and Waller win it because you know they kind of been getting that um treatment as well but i'm just gonna go with obviously awesome truth and diy so that's my uh, diy is a wild card for like the um <clears throat> other one if i, if I was there? rich i was gonna chuck this fucking phone across the room okay <laughs> uh i agree with colby and bondi i i think it's pretty much gonna be uh awesome truth and uh waller and theory uh yeah and i, I like um, awesome truth. Uh, that's that's a really cool tag team. Uh, so I hope they win. Um, you know, but that that's just what I'm going with. I think they're gonna win. All right. As long as it's not Judgment Day, I don't give a shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't want Judgment Day. I freaking can't stand them. Thank you, Amir. Yeah. The Sleepy Day. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're done. Next up, we got brother versus brother. I got Jimmy and Jay singles match. I think it's just a singles match. Um, no special guest referee, as Bonnie said, so you're wrong, Bonnie. So, <laughs> oh, Rikishi should be a special yeah, guest referee. Yeah, yeah. He's probably in the audience, maybe. Rikishi's yeah. fat at the end of the day. He'll be in the um, audience, like, pre Rikishi, but, but, but yeah, um, this should be good. Um, going to be, you know, the cinema word, you know. 
I'm gonna go with Jimmy or oh, no, 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 excuse me. I'm going with Jay. Wow. No, no, I'm going with Jay. Oh, I think you said Jimmy. I actually said Jimmy. I'm the one oh, okay. I'm going with Jay to win this. Yeah. But I can see them giving the Jimmy. Unfortunately, I can see it like cheating wise or something getting going on. But I Jay should be the guy winning. He's more over. The fans love him. Gets better reaction. People love the you and they do this. Pat Matthew does this. Everyone likes Jay. Jimmy, he just loses all the time on SmackDown. Like him and Solo will just lose all the time. So yeah, I'm going with Jay to win this match. It should be good. Well, I'm going with Jimmy Uso to win this match. <laughs> I think I agree with the cheating part. I think Solo's gonna get involved. He's gonna be the only besides the other match, I think he's gonna be he's gonna get a bigger win than Roman Reigns this mania. So I think he cheats. Um you know, with a low blow or something, and it sets up a bigger feud. I think overall, uh, Jay wins the feud at the end, but I think Jimmy uh, gets the win at Mania. I mean, I got Jay Uso winning this because Jay's more popular. Jimmy's boring. He doesn't really get a reaction. He's um, Yeet's gonna take over WrestleMania, so it's gonna be Yeet versus No Yeet, and Yeet's gonna win. <laughs> So I'm gonna tell you that. I think solo. I think solo's too focused on Roman Reigns to like do something because you know with Roman solo's always next one. I think he's focused on Roman and he is on fucking Jimmy. And I think after the match, I don't know, maybe like Rikishi comes out and hugs both of them, and then there you go. W. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Jay is gonna win. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if Bondi's correct and somebody interferes for Jimmy. But I think, you know, I think Jay's going to win. Uh, he's the guy that's over, like Colby said. The fans love him, and he's main events, uh, Jay Uso, for a reason. And they're trying to build him up. So I just. What the hell? What? Never mind. I, I, he knows what he did. So, oh. Okay. Are you talking about Bondi or me? <laughs> no, Colby. Oh, Colby, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so I think that's why uh, Jey Uso is going to win because he's over and uh, he's just more popular in the company than Jimmy. All right. Oh, disclaimer, I like, I like, I like Jey Uso better. I just think Jimmy's going to win. That right, makes sense, though. Jimmy's boring. That's what I'm saying, Preach Man. I agree with you. He's boring. That's why I think Jay should win. All right, next up we got a six-woman tag team match. Not, oh, my God, not tag team match. Wait, it's, oh yeah, six women tag team. It is match. a tag okay. team match. Bro. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm reading it wrong. Okay, I'm like Bond over I can't see, but <laughs> I, it's B Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill versus Damage Control. Um, I think this is pretty predictable. I think Bianca, Jade, and Naomi are gonna win. Um, yeah, I, I got not much more to say. I think they're gonna win. I mean, I don't see him having Jade Cargill lose, and like you know, I don't, I don't see that. Yeah, I agree. This is her like not our first like singles match. This is like her debut match, basically, and it wouldn't make sense um, for that tag team to lose. And I think Damage Control is dying soon, so I think Jay, Car Jay Cargill gets the pin over Dakota Kai or whatever at the end. I think that's going to happen. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Dakota Kai is not wrestling in that match, right? She is. Yes, she is. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Dakota Kai gets fucking destroyed by How Jay How is this Cargill. a six-woman tag team match? Yes, yeah, 3v3. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fendeo <Wait>. face. <laughs> All right, yeah, I got the face is winning. No, oh, my turn. Yeah, I got um, I got um, the Naomi, Jaden, Bianca winning, obviously. You know, this is, yeah, this is like Bonnie said, this is like her basically her debut, man. I don't count the Royal Rumble because, I mean, every, a lot of people, like, we all knew who was going to win that. But um, I think Jade, um, she gets the pin on probably you know Kyrie saying because she's better at selling shit than the other two, <laughs> and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, I agree with all you guys. I think Bianca, Naomi, and Jade is gonna win. Um, it's just it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, I just think they're gonna win because damage control. I think like they they might disband eventually, and uh, 
you can just tell that that's how they wanted to go like after the like past uh shows that's been going on so yeah i just think that they're gonna win i don't have much to say but that's i just agree with you guys that they're gonna win and they should win so all right next up we got Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus Hans Escobar and Dirty Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm going with Sanchez and Dominic this time because Rey Mysterio beat him last year at WrestleMania, so I think they're gonna win this time in the tag team match. Um, maybe next year they do like a hair versus mass match. I don't know a retirement match. You know, we'll see. If ne that's next year, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Santos and Dominic to win. It looks like Dominic is like teasing, and I don't know what he's doing. Like he's been hanging out with the, um, what's it called, Modal Fantasma more often. So, yeah, I don't know. And I think Carlito could possibly turn heel because Carlito kind of looked mad after he chose Dragon Lee over him, kind of. So, we'll see, man. We'll see what happens. But I'm gonna go with Santos and Dominic to win this match. Okay. Yeah, uh, I got um, Santos and Dominic winning. I think Dominic pins Rey Mysterio, um, so he gets his like payback from last year and i want carlito to turn heel because he's a boring face man carlito's the best when he's a heel remember when uh his uh guy stabbed john cena in, in his debut <laughs> i i loved i love carlito as a heel he's i want him to do i want him to bring his old theme song back we're just yeah. gonna have a jacked heel carlito and maybe him and ray have a good fucking feud for the next uh few pay-per-views or matches whatever uh and i think I think the judgment is going to disband as well. I think it's just going to be him and Rhea, and I think Finn Balor and uh, Damian Priest should be released, but they'll all be their <laughs> own. So that's all I got to say. Yeah, I got Santos and um, Dominic. I think Dominic is revenge from last year because, um, you know, I, don't, I honestly don't get why Dominic Mysterio is, like, are back involved in such a short period of time. But I think, you know, they'll make Legato Dun Fantasma look like look stronger because let's be for real, the LWO they suck, all right. They're not that good. But so I, I think I, I don't know. I think Dom has been teasing for the past few weeks. Or, you know, I think maybe Andrade comes in and helps out um Dom and um Escobar. And yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, I, I agree with you guys. It's going to be Santos and Dominic, uh, you know, just because like Rey Mysterio won last year, and this will be uh, Dominic's way of getting his getting revenge on his father. And also Dominic needs to start winning some matches because he's been losing a lot lately. So I think this will be a nice way to like put him a little bit over uh, because he's been down. <laughs> yep. All right, then. The last match of night one is obviously the tag team match, Rock and Roman versus Cody and Seth. You guys know, you guys know the stipulations, you know. Yes. Blood yes. Line rules and every, you know, it's going to be cool. Um, but I'm going to go with the Rock and Roman to win. Um, they'll probably pin Seth Rollins because I don't think Cody Rhodes getting pinned. Like, I don't see that. Um, yeah, Seth Rollins, unfortunately, will be taking some L's this weekend, looks like. But <laughs> I, even as a Seth fan, I mean, I want him to lose, you know, but we'll talk about that coming up. But. Yeah, um, Rock and Roman probably win. And then adversity, you know, Cody getting the adversity, blood on rules, everyone interfering, and he's going to, you know, we'll talk about that coming up. But, yeah, yeah. yeah, I got Rock and Roman winning pretty much, pretty straightforward. So, yeah. Yeah, I got the Ro I got Rock and Roman winning, and I got Seth Rollins taking a fucking beating. I think he's going to take the biggest beating of his life by the Rock and Roman Reigns. I think Cody Rhodes is going to be outside the ring, and then Seth Rollins is going to get double teamed a lot. Um, I think that, oh. and then I'll that'll, that'll set up the story for tomorrow against the against um, what's his, Drew McIntyre. So I think Seth Rollins gets pinned by The Rock one two three. They, he gets speared in people's elbow one two three. Um, I think it'll be a good nut match. Well, like rock 20 bottom. Minutes. <laughs> no spear, and then he's down, and then people's elbow one two three. Fuck the people's elbow. Man. Yeah, I, people's I like I'm the with, people's elbow. I'm with, I'm with Colby. Fuck the people's. Elbow. It's insult to injury. Better. I know it's Rock better. Bottom is better. Yeah. I know, but he's going to be down for the spear. But chronologically, the spear, the spear is going to knock him down. And I know. I get your chronological order. I just don't like it. Okay. <laughs> <shut up. laughs> you kidding? But you know, know, it's a they're going to <laughs> uh, double I mean, is it a week finish. Like, come on. 
The oh, Rock's okay. getting the pin. That's all I got. Is he did that because like Hulk Hogan had the leg drop? No, he's gonna. No. no, he did that for a joke. It was like a, t- it was a troll job. Bro, it takes ten minutes for him to do that. I know he does a rock bomb <laughs> and then the people. Go. He does a rock bomb and then the people's elbow. Yeah, but you said spear. I don't know why. Yeah. Roman Reigns does a spear. Okay, moving on. Shut up. <laughs> Reach um, around. Oh, um, I got the Rock and Roman winning because I, I, I don't, it, I don't think Cody and Self are gonna win because it's gonna set up the worst case scenario if they do win. But I think I, I do have Seth taking the pin in this, unfortunately. But um, I think I think honestly Roman actually pins him because I feel like you know since the Shield, their history, I think Roman's gonna get the drop on it. Um, wait is is it blood? Is it just a normal tag team? There's no like stipulation. Yeah, there? I think it's a normal tag. I wish it was like no DQ. Yeah, well, be well, like a tornado tag would be good. I wish it was like yeah, that would be good. Everyone's illegal. There you go. Um, but yeah, I got the Rock and Roman winning, and it's gonna be bloodline rules for the following night. And Rollins, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens the night when he faces McIntyre. That's, that's what I got. And Rollins taking the pin. Yeah, yeah, I um, mean. I, I agree. Rock and Roman are gonna win. I agree that Rollins is gonna be the one that gets pinned uh, because they're, you know, building Cody obviously, and they're gonna do the bloodline rules for that for that match uh, the next day, uh, so it can be even more difficult for Cody. Um, but yeah, I think they're gonna win, and it's gonna be a great match. I think it's gonna last a while, and uh, yeah, I just I just feel like Rock and Roman are gonna have to. To win that, and uh, Rollins is gonna get pinned. Good hour long match. I'm kidding. Yeah, it's gonna be a pretty. Yeah, that's what it's I. Not gonna with. be an hour. It's gonna be like forty minutes. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's gonna be like you're gonna think, oh, Cody Rhodes and them are so close, but then they're just gonna lose. And the, the Rock end. hasn't wrestled in twelve years. Rock, yeah, I think Rock nice. and Roman will get it done, so that it's harder for Cody Rhodes the next day when the Bloodline rules. All right, so All right. night two now officially. Okay. So. Seth Rollins versus Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre is going to get his moment. He's going to beat Seth Rollins. And because Rollins is going to be wounded, you know, from the night before, probably taking a beat, as Vincenzo said. Um, and then R- McIntyre is going to come in healthy, you know, Jack as a motherfucker, you know, play more kicks, going to just throw him around. Um, it'd be a good match, but at the end of the day, McIntyre is going to win. He's going to get his WrestleMania moment with a big crowd. Back in 2020, you know, it was fucking empty with Brock Lesnar. So yeah, he's gonna beat Rollins. Yes. There you go. But I have I don't, I don't I hope Damian Priest does not come out. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. All right. So if Damian Priest comes out, I want him to get claymored one, two, three, and I want them to get fired on the spot. But yeah, give me uh Drew McIntyre to win this match. Uh, I think if this is the opening match of Sunday, I think he, he's just gonna be tired. Uh, Seth Rollins. From he's gonna like sell injuries. I think this will be like a quick. 15 minute match, couple claymores because Sephiroth is just being down from the night before. One, two, three. He gets his moment. Uh, CM Punk will be on commentary. He's going to probably stare at him. He's going to stare at CM Punk and point at him, and they'll set up something for SummerSlam uh, down the line. But that's all I got to say. Give me Drew McIntyre. Give me the chosen one. Who chose you? This is Who chose you? This is honestly tough because. You can say the night before that Seth is going to be tired, but you could you have to um, see that CM Punk he doesn't like both. I just feel like he hates maybe McIntyre more, but um, and I don't know why Seth Rollins would just take double L's like that. Like I just I don't know. This is this is kind of this is kind of um, tough. There's a few possibilities, but I'm just gonna have to go with McIntyre on this. I mean, if stuff does retain, I wouldn't even be mad at that. But, um, fuck you. Um, <laughs> we're with McIntyre. And gosh. I think he's going to finally win in front of a crowd, not in front of a bunch of nothing like in 2020 because of COVID. So, yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, I think Drew McIntyre is going to win. They have been building him up 
uh, for the longest time now. He looks very dominant in every match that he's had previous to this. And I think Rollins, I agree that he'll be tired. He has overlooked Drew McIntyre this whole time. His focus is not on the championship. So I think that's what's going to be his downfall. Uh, and I think uh, McIntyre kept losing to Rollins before. So he needs this win really bad because, uh, you know, McIntyre last time he won, it was pandemic era. So uh, McIntyre needs to beat Rollins and, uh, yeah, needs to be the champion in my opinion. I think if I think if Drew loses, then he's officially classified as a choker. Yeah, and we can't have that. Like he's built so great right now. He's doing all the funny stuff, making fun of CM Punk, you know, making fun of Rollins. So I think he's yeah, he's a w oh, heel. Oh yeah, SummerSlam. He's a great he's heel. I never liked him as a face, but as a heel, he's great. He's a heel. No more fun. Oh, no, so Summer, oh, SummerSlam, SummerSlam, a triple threat match is gonna hit like crack. Who chose you? No more fucking swords and that stuff, you know. Yeah. I know, that's mm. for his, I know that's for his mom, but, like, you know, it's just cringy. As a, it's a gimmick. I thought it was his da dad. I don't know. No, mom. He named it after his mom. Okay. And Okay, next up, we got Eos Sky versus Bailey. Uh, my girl Bailey's going to win. Um, They've been beating the shit out of her the past few weeks. Like, there was, they always attack her, but Bailey attacked her this past week. But overall, I think Bailey's got to win this. Um. Should be a decent match. They've had a pretty good feud, you know, ever since they turned on each other. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go with Bailey to win this match, to, to win the title. So yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, I got uh, Bailey to win this match. I think Eo Sky's title reign has been terrible. Not her fault. I think it's more of the booking from Triple H. But um, I think Bailey. I <laughs> I think Bailey's gonna win. Triple H don't have a one. Yeah. Who the fuck's booking the show? All right. Anyways, I think Bailey's gonna win. Uh, she's gonna get her big WrestleMania moment. She got. She won the Rumble. She has all this adversity, but I think Damage Control. They may be tired from the night before again. So, and then I think maybe Jay Cargill, uh, Bianca with her hair, and uh, Naomi help out the interference shit. Wait, what? Bailey, Bailey wins. They carry her. They carry her. They carry her. Wait, Bondi, can I say something? Yeah. Um, Eo Sky is not wrestling the night before. What the? F oh, that's I'm talking, about the, I'm talking about the the inner the chicks outside the ring. Oh, um, yeah, I know what you mean, but yeah, you're little. Yeah, I said it wrong. Whatever. Give me Bailey. Give me the hugger. I'm not a hugger anymore. <laughs> Right. Yeah, I got um Bailey winning this because I think Eo Scott eyes um reign is done. She's had the belt for I think like 230 days or somewhat like that, something like that. Um, you know, her only the only like good top like defense she had was against um I think it was um Bianca that time at Crown Jewel, and then there was another one the fucking um triple threat match. I don't, that one wasn't bad. And um, I think Bailey's got this. You know, she's finally gonna um, have her moment at WrestleMania. I know when she first debuted, you know, she retained her Raw Women's Championship during the time. But this, this, I don't know why the fuck this is not main eventing night one instead of this bullshit tag team match. But um, yeah, it, this should make this should have main evented night one because if you're if the women's are supposed were a Rumble winner main event, this then why is it starting on night two? I don't get it. But shout out Bondi. Um <laughs> Bailey. I think for Bailey she's gonna win. And yeah, it's gonna be good. And then damage control is over. Yeah. By yeah, the way, the guy on my the guy on the top right demeans women. There you go. Care. Oh wow. <laughs> I, I don't want money. You said Dirty, oh, yeah, gonna okay, pick a, okay, The yeah. Rock's not going to main Just event night one. Okay. No, 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 no. Yeah, the Rock. Fuck the women. They don't make money. They have to make money. Yes, they do. What the fuck? Not The Rock compared to The Rock. Oh, my God. You're demeaning women again. Okay. You know what? Uh, it's demeaning when The Rock's making millions of dollars for the okay, company yeah. uh, right now. I, I agree that Bailey's going to win. She's been beaten up. She's going to overcome all that. She's going to win. She's going to be EO Sky. Her reign is over. It wasn't that great of a reign like you guys said, but, you know, um, she's going to lose. The fans love Bailey. They want her to win, and she's – I just feel like that they're going to do that, and they're going to go in that direction. And, like, Damage Control is going to disband, um, like I said previously. So, yeah, 
Give me Bailey. I think she wins. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Yeah. All right. Next up, we got. Honestly, I don't even know why this is the on the card. I guess, but um, <laughs> six man tag team Philadelphia street fight. You got freaking Bobby Lashley in the street fight. Oh my god, Bobby Lashley <laughs> and street profits versus AOP and Karrion Cross. Um, at least it's a stipulation match. Why is this WrestleMania? <laughs> At if least it was a kickoff show, I would have got I would have agreed. Yeah. yeah, I don't this might be the worst match of like the WrestleMania, but at least it's a stipulation, but yeah, I don't know. This, this is a smash. I think the stipulation match. makes up for it. Yeah, that's the only good thing about it. At least it's a street fight, but this is a uh, fucking smackdown match. But I'm gonna go up last year in the street profits to win because like they've been fucking beat up and it cost AOP or AOP cost them, you know, they've just been feuding. I'm I'm about sick and tired of this fucking feud. Hopefully, but when Lash and Street Profits win, it's over with because, yeah, I'm sick of it. Yeah. Well, I got AOP and Cross. I think they need to win more um, mm. to, uh, you know, just to make them fucking look relevant. I think if they lo- if they lose, Cross is fucking released. He's terrible. And then they just push out AOP as a separate tag team. But I just hope this match is, like, more, like more risk than usual Street. Like, I want some blood. I want some chairs. I want some tables. I want some shit. Uh, you don't need to do barbed wire. You don't need to do glass like AEW. But I want some. I want something, you know, to entertain me. So, no kendo sticks. I want chairs, tables, and uh, whatever. But yeah, give me AOP and uh, Cross, even though they're sleepy. <laughs> what? what Creature? Nothing. Who keeps farting? No, <laughs> I was laughing. No, I laugh with Kobe. Laugh. I got, I got the pride winning this. Uh, you know, Lashley and the Street Profits. Um, because AOP and um the Final Testament is fucking boring as hell. I wish they were never on my TV screen. This feud, I'm sick of tired of it. This feud's been on since what December of last year, basically. This yeah. has been boring. All right, it, um, Street Profits and lastly should get this. You know, I think um, Scarlet and B Fab will eventually. You know, they'll probably um, fight each other just to keep out of it. And yeah, that's what I have. And hopefully that this is the end of this fucking feud <laughs> because I'm, I am so sick of this. Because it's not even AOP that I don't like. It's fucking Karrion Cross. Oh my god, he's the worst. He's terrible. <laughs> he has no gimmick. He d- he doesn't talk, God. you know. He's sleepy. His ring his ring set is garbage, and yeah. Give me this last thing on um, Street Profits. Done. He's sleepy. Yeah, I agree with Colby and Preacher Man. I think Bobby Lashley and Street Profits are gonna win. I just don't like carrying Cross and EOP and like this whole feud that's been going on for so long. It needs to end. I so I pretty much just agree with you guys. I don't have much more to say, but I, I just think that Bobby Lashley and Street Profit, Profits are gonna win, and I hope that it's the end of this feud. W. All right, next up we got Ellie Knight versus AJ Styles. Um, should be. I, I like that they went to each other. You know, when they went to each other's house, it's pretty funny. But yeah, they made it personal. Yeah, I mean, yeah, other than that, like good. this feud is. Eh, I mean, it's okay, but. I'm gonna go LA Knight to win to get more momentum going towards um you know this year. AJ Styles, he, you know he will put over LA Knight. AJ Styles can afford losses at this point. Like, you know it don't hurt his career. Um, LA Knight needs this more honestly to you know get more wins in the win column because he's not been not gonna lie, he hasn't been that hot since like Roman Reigns feud. Like he's just been like there. Like he hasn't like been doing much. So he needs to win this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go LA Knight to win this match. Yeah. All right, so give me LA Knight to win. Yeah, I think I wish there was a stipulation to this match, like a cage match or like something hardcore, because this seems personal. AJ Styles flew across the world just to cost LA Knight the match. LA Knight went to AJ Styles' house. You know, it's personal. It's personal. Yeah, yeah, I got LA Knight. I mean, I got LA Knight winning. Uh, I think this will be could be match of the night. You know, possibly what steal the show. Are you crazy? Are you it could be not in the night. Yeah, you fucking mind. Are you serious? In a match. That's fucking okay. Um, I got LA Knight winning, obviously, because I think LA Knight he should have been at WrestleMania last year because you know LA 
but I don't know. This time, you know, across the United States, he's in Philly. So I think LA Knight needs this more if you want to keep, you know, keep him at least somewhat high, like in terms with the fans. Um, they made it into a better robbery when making it like LA Knight going to his house and shit. So that's something good. The only thing it was missing, if it had like a no holes barred match or like, you know, something like that, then I would have said, now that could be a dark horse for the whole WrestleMania. But this is fine like it is. So, yeah, give me LA Knight. Yeah, I think LA Knight's going to win. He needs to win, uh, you know. Uh, also, like I agree with Colby, this this freaking feud has not been that great, but it's whatever. They had to give LA Knight something to do. Um, AJ Styles is already, he's already developed. Like he's already, you know, going to be down as like, maybe, you know, he's going to be a Hall of Famer or something. But, you know, LA Knight is going to win. Um, I agree with Colby, Bondi, and Peter Um But yeah, that's what, that's what I think is going to happen. I just think like, they're, they got to rebuild LA Knight because he's like, you know, he's kind of forgotten now since it seems like he got forgotten since CM Punk and all these guys came back. Yeah, I agree. And Randy, that, yeah. Randy, CM Punk. And like he was the next man up, but since those guys came back, it's and The like, Rock. The, well, The Rock, yeah, of course. Well, The Rock is with the whole Cody Rhodes thing. So you could say, yeah, you could say even Cody Rhodes is another reason. Oh. Like, all right, next up, we got a triple threat match for the United States Championship. Logan Paul, Randy Orton, Kevin Owens. This could, I think every one of these guys could win, honestly, this match. I'm not going to lie. I think everyone could win. Um, this is tough, but I'm going to go with Logan Paul to retain. Um, I think they're going to keep the belt on him for a little bit more longer. Um, I, his title reign has been horrible. It's been He barely defends it, and it's been lackluster. But I think they're going to give it to him for a few more months, probably. Lose it probably, what, Monday Bank or somewhere around there. I can see, what if he holds it to um, SummerSlam? Because, like, that's where in Cleveland. So, he could hold it to freaking Cleveland and SummerSlam. Um, but, yeah. I mean, I can see Randy Orton winning. I know Amir don't want that to happen. Um, and Kevin know. Kevin Owens. Like, Kevin Owens, he's a Triple H boy. I think you can definitely see him winning that match. But I'm going to go with Logan Paul to retain. Yeah. Wow, All right. Go. I'm going to go with uh, Kevin Owens. <gasps> I think he's going to he's gonna stun Logan Paul for the win. One, two, three. <laughs> Um, RKO push Randy out of the fucking ring, stun Logan Paul when he's up. One, two, three. I think this is, good. This, this is gonna be a good match. It's a triple threat, so they can use chairs and shit, but we'll see what happens. I like Logan Paul, I think he's gonna do some fucking uh high flying shit. Maybe he's gonna throw, he's gonna jump to RKO. There's gonna be a cool RKO moment at the end of the day because it's Randall Keith Orton. Um, but yeah, give me Kevin Owens to win the match, and uh, he'll have his WrestleMania moment again. Back to back wins at Mania. Let's go, one. Right, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I honestly got Kevin Owens winning this. Let's go. Because I think you know, since he's a Triple H guy, and you know his few, he has the better few with Logan Paul recently, like. I just think he's going to win this. This isn't a main event, obviously. This could be a match that could be a lot better than anticipated. I think for Kevin Owens, you know, his storyline is easily not over with Logan Paul because, you know, the past few months, the fucking brass nuts and bullshit. But this time it's league. I think Kevin Owens hits him with the brass knuckles, um, and then he stuns him, and then one, two, three. And then Kevin Owens wins the United States Championship. At WrestleMania for the second time in his career. Yes. I actually agree with Bondi and Preacher, man. I'm going with Kevin Owens. Even though I'm a huge Randy Warren fan, I don't want him to win this because I want him to obviously go for the main belt later on. The fucking um, glazing is crazy. I, I think Kevin Owens wins. Uh, but, Kobe, I wouldn't be surprised if Logan Paul won. Um it could. I think it's down to those two. I, I just don't think Randy really makes sense for him to win this belt. Uh, so I think Kevin Owens is going to win. Uh, like you said, he's Triple H's boy. It'll give him a belt. And, yeah, I think he's going to win. And um, if Logan Paul wins, I wouldn't be surprised either. So that's who I think is going to win. So when Bondi said Kevin Owens, I was really surprised. I thought he was going to go Logan Paul. 
I really thought the whole time. But Bonnie's a Logan Paul stand. So okay, I like him in the wrestling. Yeah, I swear, I'm not lying. I thought he was gonna say Logan Paul. Yeah, see right? preacher man, right? Like I thought because same. he's a Logan Paul guy. Yeah, you were telling me he's gonna win. Kobe because I like the wrestler, doesn't mean I'm gonna pick him. Kobe I didn't like Logan Paul. He's had a terrible reign of this thing. And yeah, so that's all right. Next up is the main event: Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes, Bloodline rules most likely. Gonna see like every fucking member probably interfere. You know, <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be some crazy spots. It's false finishes. We're like <gasps> one, yeah. two, and Bonnie we're gonna be like, <gasps> <"Kick gasps> And then yeah, Cody Rhodes is gonna probably hit like fucking three crossroads in a row. One, two, three, and then you know fucking sixty thousand fans are gonna be singing this song. Whoa! And he's gonna be holding the belt, and then yeah, Cody Rhodes has finished the story. And then the following Monday, he's gonna fucking come out with a new design, probably. So there you go. Yeah, um, I got yeah, I got Cody Rhodes finishing the story. If if Roman wins, I don't know what's gonna happen. I think the sky's gonna fall. <laughs> <He's done. laughs> I think I think cats and dogs are gonna rain rain on us, you know, mass hysteria. But um. Yeah, I think it'll be a great match. Again, with the Bloodline winning night one, it's going to be Bloodline rules. That also means Cody can use chairs and shit and like barbed wire, whatever the fuck, any weapons he wants. Blood. I think I think Jey Uso and uh, Seth Rollins will come out, limping Seth Rollins and Jey Uso to help out to uh, come at the Bloodline. Or for the mention, think, um, maybe Cody Rhodes does three out. crossroads. He does three crossroads to Roman, one, two, three. But here I said, maybe I've heard the mention. Maybe Stone Cold and Cena comes out. It's been rumored, but yeah, I think they'll make it. Cody Rhodes is gonna assemble the Avengers. Holy shit! The Avengers. Brock Lesnar. And then Dustin Rhodes says, "Fuck oh, no. AEW." Voids the contract. What? Well, him and Cody Rhodes are friends now, right? <laughs> yeah, but Brock yes, Lesnar rumors are fans. done. But um, oh my, it's my dream. Yeah. Um, um, I got Cody Rhodes winning. For real this time, no more bullshit like last year where we all really thought it was over. And, you know, of course, Solo gets involved, the classy way to end shit. I think since this is going to be bloodline rules, that this means anything goes, that means they can interfere and Cody can have his fucking backup. Um, Cody Rose will finally end this fucking bullshit and then we can all stop these fucking Roman Reign stands all over Twitter, Instagram, etc. They can shut the hell up except a couple that you two probably know. And um, yeah, we'll all be smoking the Roman pack. Not all me. right. All right. <laughs> hey, Bonnie, the biggest, Bonnie's the biggest Roman Reigns fan. So. No, he likes part time. <laughs> He loses it. It's just like, a fake. No, that's <laughs> Paul, actually. She's the biggest. I don't know. Bonnie loves him. But, yeah, no, I, I agree with you guys. I think Cody Rhodes is going to finish his story. I think he's going to win. Uh, You know, like, he's going to do his finisher three times to beat Roman Reigns. Or crossroads and more. I mean, co- yeah, whatever. Cross Crossroads? Anyway, yeah. you, know, you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. He's going to beat uh, Roman finally. This belt will be gone from Roman Reigns. We won't have a part timer anymore, and then I I can't wait because he's gonna be celebrating. All the fans are you know they love Cody Rhodes. They messed up last year because they should have gave it to him last year. But hey, I mean let's try part two. Let's try it one more time. And I think yeah, Cody Rhodes will finish the story. Cody will stay on. Uh, Kobe will stay on the channel. You know he won't have to leave because <laughs> Kobe made. You know if Roman Reigns wins, he might leave. Who knows. But, uh, yeah, I think um, if Roman Reigns wins, that would be really bad for the company because they built Cody Rhodes all the way. And just to make him lose, that'd be stupid. So I think Cody Rhodes should win. I hope he does win. And Disrespectful. I think win. And I think he Excuse will end Roman Reigns' reign of champ. Yeah, I feel like. Like, if Roman r- wins, I'm going to fuck it. It's going to be really hard to watch WWE after that. Colby's done. <laughs> you gonna, you're going to do the same thing. You, a lot all of right, you know what? I'm going to say this live right now. If Roman wins, I'm going to say AEW's better. All right? It's done. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. All right. So yeah, all right. it's over with. That's, how, that's like, how down bad I am if he wins. Like, There's a better Samoan champion. I mean, I think that's what I don't know. Pushing. 
Okay, that's no, what, no, 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 no. Okay, that's, that's what they, they win uh, again the rumble because they messed it up and they're trying to make up for their mistakes. And I think it will be a bigger f you if Cody wins the belt to uh, to AEW. I swear, Cody Rhodes God. helped build also, AEW. I, 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 would be, I would be surprised if Rock betrayed Roman. I wouldn't be surprised if something like that. I think no, that's gonna happen soon. after the match. Too soon. No, but I mean, I'm saying if it even if it happens after the match, I, that's I swear to God, if I hear the Judgment Day's music come out during that match, I'm gonna fucking kill. A man, you mean Priest? No, oh no, oh. he's the worst money ho- briefcase holder of all time. I don't know he, why they gave it to him. If he's Triple worse H than theory. Swerve. He's worse than theory. Yeah, I said it yeah. in there. There you go. Thank you. I love that. I, I don't agree with that. I think theory. No, Shut because. <laughs> Dude, you do realize Priest could have cashed in on Seth Rollins this past Monday, but he didn't. Yeah. He was Rollins was down and out. I'm like, he's the oh, dumbest man in the bank holder. I don't ever. like either of those wrestlers. They're like, I know they're both they're both they're both yeah. shitty in the ring. Yeah, <laughs> I'm happy you agree they're shitty. Bonnie thinks Austin Theory is still good. I don't. This is why he's boring. He has Daniel a trash boost and his mic skills are so <laughs> boring that the crowd doesn't even react to it. They'll be like, chirp. Chirp, chirp. That's it. Cricket. I feel like Bonnie wants Roman to win. I don't know. No. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, look, look at that it. smile. Yeah, we don't. I don't want Roman to win. Honestly, I don't care. It's fake, but like. Oh, wet blanket. Oh, Here we go. Wow. Oh, I just want a good. Sh- I just want a good show at the end of the day. If you know, I think you know. Too bad we're not in it with NXT because NXT is going to be starting at eleven o'clock. In my, my yeah. Time. They- they better not make Roman win for that Hulk Hogan bullshit. <laughs> no, that's not even a I'm record. The record is Bruno. I'm gonna, I'm gonna no one's ever going to that. No, I'm but like Hulk Hogan is next on the record. Yeah, it's Hulk Hogan's personal record. Oh, boo. Yeah. Because Triple H wants to create his own legacy. Like, fuck you, big nose thicket. Hey. All right, so that's we need cool. our own predictions. I'm just, uh, let's do some final words. Final words on the fucking video. <laughs> yeah, final words on the video. Fuck it. Oh, me first. Yeah. Thanks for having me on. This this is gonna be probably the best WrestleMania of all time in my living. Um, but you know, really looking forward to this. I really hope that that last match we talked about happens. The result happens because I'm tired of this. And if it doesn't happen, I'm gonna start pushing the AEW's better fucking movement. There. <laughs> That's how down bad I am. Okay, yeah. Thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, like I agree. I just can't wait for like I can't wait for all the matches, but I really can't wait for the last one to see like are they really gonna are they finally gonna end Roman Reigns reign because it's just so annoying. Like he's just been champion for so long. I don't hate Roman Reigns. Like people think I I don't hate him. I just want a new champion and I want the belts to exchange more often. Like I'm tired of this. Like have person have the belt for like a year or ten years or whatever. It's just getting annoying. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to a lot of matches. It, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great streaming with you guys, being live here. And um, yeah, I just really look forward, and I really hope that my predictions come true. And uh, like you know, elimination chamber, but I don't think it's gonna be perfect like that because I don't think it'll be that predictable. Um, I think there'll be some wrestlers that like. There might be some people that we don't expect to see, might see like Cena and stuff like that. So that'd be cool. And uh, yeah, like I said, thanks for having me on and hope my predictions are good. Yeah, we'll be live on Friday. I don't know. Yeah, we'll be live tomorrow for the Hall of, after the Hall of Fame thing. Um, you know, Paul Heyman going in for SmackDown. We we'll live Saturday and Sunday. We're gonna be live a lot this weekend. So yeah, come by, hang out. Um, we're gonna have Luis Garcia, probably Preacher Man, on for those. Um, but oh, yeah, shit, they they did the stage. Oh, how's it look? Um, but yeah, <laughs> Th- thank you guys for watching this video. It's sorry this was so long, but we yapped. We went to do our predictions, but yeah, at least it's not like freaking three hour video we did for baseball, you know. But yeah, yeah like, I was just thinking that. <laughs> All right, peace out, guys, and we'll see you later. All right, yeah. Um, I was just thinking about that three hour baseball stream. Yeah, at least it's under an hour. Um, hope everyone. I hope we have a great WrestleMania, a good show. Hopefully, we're not disappointed. Uh, I'll be popping some. I'm going to be buying a shitload of snacks maybe tomorrow for WrestleMania. Uh, you know, eat. WrestleMania's two-night event. And hopefully we don't get disappointed. And hopefully we finish the story. That's all I got to say. <laughs>
That's all I gotta say, guys. Incrustables worse than homemade. That's it. No, fuck you. That's no. And let's finish the story.